Vámonos. I'm trying to demonstrate something. Uh, I mean, literally, I can only just. I can get to here. If I try and go down there. Or down to that level. Nah. So unless it's a thermal suit. Um, I'm not getting down there anytime soon. On a pound of the fact that when it goes all red like that, I can't really see much. I'd love to be able to shove it right down there, right next to that. It'd be great. But I can hear leech. Then we've got to try and deal with getting the, the power relayed back up. It's going to be a, a, a ball ache. <laughs> we'll put it that way. That power's sticking down quite fast. <sighs> right. Well, I'm still thinking. Um, we might. Well, we've got... We've got that. And we got that. Oh well, oh well. It's a very power hungry beastie. What? Okay. No power's coming in. Well, that would explain something, wouldn't it? The geothermal power plant is not connected. Because I is getting the poor. In theory, I will do a proper explanation in a moment. We need to run, we have need to wait until this goes down below 250. Because, in actual fact, from what chat has explained to me, and my understanding of that is that. Currently, we are running off of the power that is stored in the batteries of the solar panels. In theory. If this continues to go down below... 250... Then we're in trouble. I think the sun's just come up. I want this fixed! Screw it. I'm not having the base run out of power just on the... To, for a test. It does really kind of demonstrate that if I did have it there all the time, it might have worked. I don't know. Either way... goes in there. That one goes in there. Right. We 
we will have us a quick I will now confer with my other screen oh well oh. That's going to be helpful. Okay, it might be a map, but hey. Right, um, well, apparently, yeah, yes, no, maybe, possibly, perhaps, uh... I understand that's the best map that exists, but there is no point of reference. Unless dead smack centre of that map is the original landing point. Then it's basically just north of the landing point. Assuming that north is up on that map. Fun! Center is the landing point. Okay. Well, we can do some... Uh... Let's grab some more munchies. At the moment, we're not actually generating any... Okay, you know, you know, fudge it. Fudge it, I've had enough. No, I am not pissing around anymore. If we come back to the base to find it completely empty in power, well, fudge. Basically, I've had enough of this. The water's going in. Done, right, screw it. Yeah, because during the day, it's we're generating enough power to compensate for it. It's only at night when the solar panels are off. Right. Let's head back to the starting area. I'll get up onto its roof and then we can have a little gander. Deploying Dave. Welcome aboard Dave has been deployed. wreck on one of the floating islands okay excuse me coming through beep beep don't mind me no another day please thank you Fine, it's the floating islands are just north of my base or something. You know, just some ludicrous bollards like that. Right. Where's the ladder on this thing? <sighs> right! Yeah! The floating islands are between here. And the laser, probably just beyond the main base. Or close to the laser, I'm not sure where that, that island is in regards to this. So. I would drag it across, but I don't think it'll actually display on the stream. Right. Whoop. I'm glad I clicked. Because at the rate I was going down, I was just about to just go ah, right on the front, right on the top of me. Uh, hundred and something odd meters. It's sort of being covered up by Discord at the moment. So 
Oh, I can always use the the, the, the chat even further across. Hold on. Right. So basically, you go out in this direction, and I remember between the main base and the laser, there's a section where it gets super deep. That is probably where those islands are. Hello, chaps. I'm coming through again. Don't mind me. Just need to orientate myself, you see. Worth saving what? You mean drop a beacon, yes? Because... Oh, worth saving the game. Well, the stream's almost over. There you go. Done. I normally only save at the end of stream, but you know, I could get eaten. Stop trying to dent my ship with your puny little fish hides. Ah. I have no clue whether the lights are on or off. Oh, the lights were on. Lights are off now. This, I assume, is a kelp forest. That's what it bloody well looks like, anyway. Right, so, um. So it starts to get a bit deep. So. Gonna. Oh. We have reached the laser already. Hold on. Point of this, what I'm looking for is parallel to the ship. So I can only assume it is actually out there, out towards the sunken pod, because this drop off <sighs> Just one more Just a random chunk just poop lying there Hello, friend. Bog off. My oh, would you look at that? <laughs> it's a floating island. Who would have thought? Thank you, goodbye. Yeah, it's probably a really bad idea to do that. Go to the bottom of the ocean and all. Yeah, you have a little scream, mate. You have a scream. All right, the drill arm. No. That looks like an engine fragment. This is the wreck. You have arrived at your destination and found the last fragment outside. Well, that, 
Thanks for all the... Uh, so long, thanks for all the fish. Boop! <laughs> Gone! Well, at least I know it's... Uh, near the laser. Oh, well, that janky is all fudge that loaded in. <laughs> it's like, what, south? South, southwest of the laser island happens to be the floating islands. I want to get somewhere where it's relatively safe. I'm not going to get randomly munched on and you will find in the blueprints one full cyclops that's not impossible to get hold of actually but we spent the majority of the stream well trying to get to this stage and yes I have achieved what I wanted to achieve though if I can pack up the what's it vehicle builder and pull it close to the main base, that'd be even better. I mean, I've got a little bit of time. I might, might be able to scrounge together enough for a Cyclops. The problem with that is I can't charge the damn thing. And lights on. Oh yeah, I can deploy it over here and it can just sink down to this. Quite deep here. Yeah. That's semi deep enough for you? Just saying. Oh yeah, yeah, out here might be deep enough. Perhaps. Maybe. Possibly. I'm going to retrieve my one and then I'm going to stick it out there. Coming through by me. Excuse me, what? Stop it! Damn near suicidal, those things! They see me tanking along, it's like, ha ha, I'm gonna Garfield on your cockpit. It's like, nope. Do, 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 do. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Where do I stick that thing? There. There it is. Let's see if I can pack you up. Excuse me, are you... Aha! Yoink! Welcome aboard, Captain. Ma! Right, let's head back. We can set this thing up in deep enough water. Because, you know, that would be just my luck. I set up in not quite deep enough water. And I deploy it and it detonates. And I'm going to be like, well, that was quick. Didn't even get to climb in it and it blew up. Okay, lights on. Probably should do this during the day. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yoink. Hmm, maybe. Salty. 
Nah, nah, I'm good, thanks. We've almost got one water out of it. Ridiculous. Takes forever. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Well. <clears throat> we don't quite need to end yet. I just want it to be daytime, you know. Yeah, that was the most epic belly flop ever. Totally could put another ring on here just to bring it like up to surface level. He's like, hello. Bit of a giveaway, look! Distorts the moon planet thing? Gather the parts in anticipation. Ah, yes. That would be logical! <sighs> Whoa, hello! Good grief! Hello. I'll scan you. Yeah, I figured the creature habitat would need its own room. Okay, let's see, can I? No. Okay. Is it fully grown? It's not. Oh. I see. I want to run an experiment. If I pull out all of it... Nah, it's just going to grow some more, isn't it? I've got some benzene, I guess. I was half expecting the damn thing to die, that's all. Oh. Well, that's not good. I lost one. That's fine. We've now got a, a disproportionate number. Oh, no. It's going gonna, it's gonna to irk me, that is, now. Here, you. Equipment. All oh, right. Nickel and an ion cube to make an iron. Orange. Yeah. Lovely. Thanks. Oh, it requires three blood oil. Oh, right. Well, guess what? Here, in the local, I'm just gonna whoop, yoink that in there. Yeet that in there like that. Fine. Perfect, lovely, great. Uh, boink. Power at 22, 23. Oh, we're starting to get power again. But it's not... We'll see whether we get the total drainage or whether we get a complete regen. Well, we are generating power. Wait a minute. Is it daytime again now? Ah. Yes. That's why we're we're rapidly increasing in power. It's because it's daytime again. We'll have to see whether that power gets all the way back up to full, and then it's it's fine. If it doesn't, we're in the shits. Why am I using habitat build? Why? Why? What? 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 No, I need to do this. It's 
an advanced wiring kit. Okay. Enameled glass. Uh, lubricant, easy. Three lead. Yeah, plasteel ingot. I don't think I have that much lithium. Which lithium have I got? Uh, I think the, uh, the, the amount of lithium that I have is... Um, none. None is the amount of lithium that I have. So I can't make plasteel. <laughs> Shite. Well, let's go stick this thing up and then um, I may need to go and collect a lot of resources so that we can build the sub and the prawn suit and the arms at the start of next episode. Yes. I'm going to be a good boy. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I should really, before I do much else, I need to put that on to five. So I can deploy it properly. We haven't used Sea Glide in a while. Right, let's see. This should be deep enough. Whoa, hey, <laughs> you can stay down there. No, no, shoo, shoo, you gone? Down boy. No, 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 no. Remember, it builds it a certain distance away. So. For example, if I wanted to climb up to here and say the vehicle bay, I'd like to use the vehicle bay. I'd like to build, I don't know. Diamonds, lead, enamel, glass, aerogel, plasteel. Okay, well, I can make a prawn suit. I think I've got most of the materials for that. I've got the picked up rubies recently. I've got diamonds still sitting around. Lots of enameled glass. It looks like I'm going to have to go searching for teeth. Doing it all orky style, going after some teeth. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. And, um,. Hopefully that should be a deep enough section. That or I'm just gonna get my I'll get poor thing's ass handed to it as soon as it drops into the water. Clonk! Oh well there goes your no claims discount. <laughs> Boop. Right. Let's have a look. Uh, get lots of lithium in the deep areas. I'm going to. Ah. Uh, not hard then. You know, as long as the Snurglies don't eat Dave. Um, let's see actually, hold on. Before we finish, how much daylight do we have left? Plenty. This place is almost full. Cool. Wonder what it does once the machine is full. I mean, if the machine gets full, does it just stop? Oh, salt, 100%. So what it's saying is it's only ever going to store two salt. Large filtered bottle, it's plus 50. 
So it looks like it's only ever going to pull out two salt and that, and it'll just have 100% just sitting there waiting, and then it'll stop drawing so much power because it's not actively being used. Maybe. Perhaps. But either way, we should have enough power to recharge the batteries because it's the first time we've done a, a full cycle without me going, ah, I'm going to run out of power and rip the damn thing out. But anyway, right. I think that's about it for this time round. Next time, we will be creating a very large sub and a very small suit with a grapple arm and a punchy arm because I am so going to show some of those snurglies what I think of them by punching them in the face with a drill arm. Get drilled! Ah, Xenos scum! Right, what? It's only lacking a chainsaw, basically, and a bolter, but eh, technicalities. So, on that note, thank you for watching. And until next time, this is JC. Out. Now, what was my keyboard shortcut again? Ah! Uh, I think it's that one. <laughs> Professional!